You know, I put this here, you gotta have the discipline. You know, we're in a world right now where nobody has any discipline. You build these things by believing in yourself. Can I ask you a question? How do you talk about yourself to yourself? I don't care how anybody else talks about you. You're in a relationship with yourself 25-7, 365. You're in your own head every day. What are you saying to you, okay? Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about sales. I have a massive sales channel, and this is gonna be a video that will change a lot of your lives, because I bet most of you are missing one or two of these things. And now that you know what are the six best qualities of the best salespeople in the world. These are six qualities that I have. By the way, the good thing is these are teachable. You can learn these. And when I go over them with you now, if maybe you're not getting the numbers that you want, you're not the number one person in your store, in your state, in your country, you can be after this video. So sales makes the world go round. You want to get rich, learn sales. So this is the six traits of the best salespeople in the world. Number one, we're going to talk about courage. I want you to write this down. By the way, you better take freaking notes because if you don't take notes, you're going to get off this and you're not going to become great. And then don't whine and cry and complain when your year to date ain't right. And you're not making the money and breaking the bank like I am and like others are. Are you ready? So number one is going to be courage. Okay, I want you to write this down. This is super important. The ability to have the courage where when you know that rejection could come, it doesn't bother you. You have courage to face it. You know, I know a lot of people that don't get into sales because they don't want to get rejected and they don't want to be told no. You know what I'll tell you? When I first started sales, I was 18 years old. My manager took me to the mall. Okay, I wasn't, it wasn't my job to go with them to the mall. It was my job to sell cars. I thought I was going to the car lot. He took me off the car lot, took me to the mall. And he told me that I needed to go around and I needed to shake everybody's hand in the mall. Hey, how you doing? My name's Andy. I'm glad you're at the mall today. What are you guys looking for? And he goes, and I want you to have a conversation with people that you don't know. Why? Because he goes, Andy, I need you to have courage. You got you to gotta be able to master a stranger. That means someone you don't know. You got to be able to walk up to someone you don't know, have the courage. They could reject you. They could say, get lost. They could say, what do you want? They could look at you like you're an idiot. You got to be able to have courage. The, these traits, this, you can learn. You can learn it. And by the way, by the end of this video, you're going to learn how to learn these six traits. But this first one is courage. You got to have courage, okay? You can't be afraid of rejection. You can't be scared of it. You can't be thinking in your head, what if this happens and that doesn't happen? This thing that I want, what if they say that? What if I bring out this presentation and they say no? Dude, you got to have courage. You got you to think differently, okay? So anyway, so step one, one of the traits of a great salesperson, a very high performer, high achiever is courage. Number two, super important, can't be skipped. You'll get your ass kicked if you do. It's gonna be repetition, you gotta put the reps in. Look, in the beginning in sales, it kinda of goes like this. I start, I gotta learn the product, and I gotta learn the script. What are the top people in the company who are making the most money, what are they saying? What is their sales, sales process? So, I'm probably taking a script, right? Like something that they tell me, this is what we say when we answer the phone or we talk to them face to face, and we're gonna write it down again and again and again and again and again. And after 10, 15 times, my brain's gonna skip ahead and it's gonna go, hey, I know this now. And then once I know it, I'm gonna practice saying it in the mirror, and I'm literally gonna say it over and over and over again, and then I'm going to role play with somebody face to face. And then after that, it's like I'm saying it to customers. And then after that, one day there is no script. And then I'm just like, pop, 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 pop. And it's like, it's all natural. But in the beginning, you, you got to put the reps in. And what I know is one of the greatest qualities of the greatest salespeople that earn the most money, that are the best, that take all the pressure out of the deal with their clients and that clients freaking love are people that train that put the reps in. So that's gonna be number two. Number three, follow up. I know, it's the F word, follow up. Yeah, no one does it except the winners. You know the difference between making a million and not? Follow up. You know the difference between the paycheck, the big beautiful house, the badass car, the Ferraris and the Lambos, and what you're currently driving now? The follow up, that's it. You know, I put this here, you gotta have the discipline you know, we're in a world right now where nobody has any discipline. 
And literally people don't follow up. Sales people, they just don't follow up. That's why they never make it to the top. Look, I'm gonna tell you something. When I meet a customer, okay, sometimes, look, hey, my biggest, the, my greatest customers that paid me the most money, I didn't ask them for the, that amount of money on the first time I met them. It didn't happen. Okay, now do you want to close everybody and bring everybody into your, into your environment and your company and, and, and sell them? Yeah, but dude, follow-up's the key. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe five, maybe 10, maybe 15 times. And then bam, it happens. You got to be disciplined, man. So what I know is a trait of the best, highest performing salespeople is they're massively disciplined and they follow up. Are you feeling me? Guys, right now, do me a favor. Number one through three, I want you to comment below what was your favorite. Number one, courage, repetition, or follow-up. One, two, three. Now I'm going to go on the back side. We're going four through six. Are you ready? Man, these six are going to change your life. These are traits. You have to be great at these. Rate yourself on these. Become the most dangerous in these. And I promise you, you'll build an income and a life, and everybody will want to be you. They'll look up to you and your customers will love you. All right, number four, intuition. Intuition's super important, all right? Listen, something I love about my wife is uh, she's got massive intuition. You know, when I'm talking to somebody, man, I'm always like, you know, where do they live? Where are they at? You know, how, how are they brought up? You know, how's their marriage? How, how, how are they normally treated? How many kids do they have? You know, does this, is this person more introverted? Are they more extroverted, right? Does this person, you know, uh, feel valued? Do they feel undervalued? I'm thinking about all these things because it's my job to understand who this person is because it's not about product knowledge and sales. It's about people knowledge and sales and intuition is something that great salespeople have. Hey, maybe they came in for this thing, but I know this is actually what they need. I'm not doing it by fact, find, qualify. I'm doing it by my intuition. Like I have it in me, okay? It's my gut instinct and my feeling. And it's something the top salespeople have. Write this down, book smarts, street smarts. That's why a lot of people get into sales that weren't really good in school, but then they do really good in sales because they're street smart, they got good intuition. Does that make sense? Like, you know, like some people that are book smart may walk into a bad neighborhood and they're just like, they're just strolling along, okay? So people that are street smart, like, dude, I'm not going to that neighborhood. I know what happens over there. Street smart, they're street smart. Their intuition says, no, I'm not going, or we need to do that, or I need to get out of this thing now. And, and their intuition is just better than others, okay? So the greatest salespeople have a higher level of intuition, okay? And you can learn that, it's a skill. Okay, you dive in on these first three, I promise you number four is gonna come. All right, number five, this is a big one. By the way, without out this one, you're dead. You're dead in the water, you're dead, you're done, you're out, it's confidence. Nobody's gonna say yes to you if they don't believe that you believe. Sales is the transfer of belief and without confidence, no one's believing. Okay. Uh, how do you build? How do you build confidence? Number one, do what you say you're going to do. Learn to trust yourself. Uh, that's how you build self-belief, self-esteem, uh, self-confidence. You build these things by believing in yourself. Can I ask you a question? How do you talk about yourself to yourself? I don't care how anybody else talks about you. You're in a relationship with yourself, 25/7, 365. You're in your own head every day. What are you saying to you? Okay, are you building yourself up? Do you feel powerful? Do you feel strong? Do you feel confident? Do you have a delusional belief? Everybody can buy, came to buy, and will buy as long as you do your job. Do you see that? Or do you think that you're Alcatraz, no one escapes, and you're gonna close everybody? Or are you thinking, man, I don't know, man, this guy came in for that, I'm not sure. Like, are you already doubting and, and, and questioning yourself? Because doubt is a traitor, and if you are an internal traitor, you're not gonna be one of the top guys, and you can't have high confidence. Okay, right now, we're going into number six, everybody, right now. One, two, three, four, five. Number one, courage. Number two, repetition. Number three, follow-up. Number four, intuition. Number five, confidence. When I give number six, I want you to comment below and tell me one through six, what was your favorite, okay? And by the way, if you're watching this right now and you're like, man, I want to be the best in the world in sales. I'm not even joking. Hey, I didn't say the best in your company. Don't think small. I can make you the best in your company. That's, that's easy. You probably already are. If you're not, that's easy. Best in your state, best in the country, the best in the world. I am training the greatest salespeople on planet Earth to make more money than they ever made in their life. If that's you and you, if that's who you want to be, I don't care if it's you or not, that's who you want to be. Just like I did, I can take you there. I've got a play for you to run. 
I want you to look in the description box below, underneath on this YouTube video, there's a little description box, there's the link, it says Coach with Andy. I want you to click on it, you're gonna answer a couple questions, make sure you fill out your phone number, your name, and then I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about a badass life, okay, this is your opportunity, click on the Coach with Andy button, I'll reach out to you, we'll set up a game plan together and I'll give you the play to run. All right guys, number six, this is a big one, write this down, the delivery. I wrote this down, your follow through, okay? Basically, you do what you say you're gonna do. Listen, do you want everybody in the world to know who you are? Do you want everybody in the world to rave about you and just tell everybody that, man, you gotta use this guy, it's unreal. You know, I spent a dollar, I spent 100,000, I spent a million, I did this thing. Man, I'm telling you, listen, if I sell you something, right, and I tell you I'm gonna call you on Friday, I gotta call you on Friday. And if I call you on Friday when I said I was and I told you I was gonna reach out after three months and I did reach out after three months, if I told you I was gonna mail you that thing and I mailed you that thing, if I told you I was gonna do this, if I sent you you know, a text message you know, telling you, hey, I appreciate you, I don't need anything from you, just wanna tell you have a great day and you know, I love you. If I have a delivery, when you spend money with me and I over deliver, I want you to remember this, the delivery, you ruin the value of money for them because you over delivered. Number one, they'll love you, they'll spend every dollar, they'll buy everything they can off you for the rest of their life and they will tell the world. You get it? Six qualities of great salespeople. You guys just got it. Guys, I've got a million, okay? But time's important so I gave you six. What'd you guys think? I want you to comment below right now. Let me know what you thought. Number two, I want you to share it with the buddy in sales. Okay, share it with 10, 15 buddies. I know right now you got them in your phone. Share out 10, 15, you know, people that you could think that, man, dude, you gotta watch this video. You know what I'm saying? This will help you get, get an edge today. You know, maybe recreate and change. And then don't forget, lastly, okay? I love you guys, I got your back for life. I drop content every day for free so that people, when they decide if this is the right message to the right person at the right time, that they're ready to kick ass and change their life and earn what they're worth. They have an opportunity to watch this video, get inspired and change their life. I hope that happened with you guys. And by the way, if you want to coach with me, if you're serious about doing some big dog stuff, guess what? Go down to the description box below, click on the link, coach with Andy, fill out the information and you'll be seeing me in the next 24 hours. I love you guys, have a blessed day. I'll see you in the next video.